So get ready to add this to your list of favourite recipes. It's Seven Carbonara and it's sin free. Yummy. So firstly, I'm starting off by weighing out 80 grams of whole wheat spaghetti. I recommend this kind of spaghetti because it will definitely keep you fuller for longer. And as a rule of thumb, I always stick to 80 grams and just bulk it up with absolutely loads of vegetables. And then just boil this as per instructed at the back of the packet. So while that's cooking, let's get a large frying pan and spray it with butter fry light. Here on my plate is 100 grams of sliced mushrooms and 170 grams of diced courgettes because I've got loads to use up for my garden. Oh, and a minced clove of garlic. So while the spaghetti's simmering away, I'm just gonna saute this for about five to 10 minutes. Then you'll need a mixing bowl because we're going to do the sauce now. And you need to crack an egg in it. Add a tablespoon of fat-free yogurt or similar. And then as part of your healthy extra, we're using a lighter cathedral cheese. And I know I'm being really lazy, but I'm grating about 20 grams in there. And then let's grab some seasoning for taste. And give that a good old mix. And then, of course, it wouldn't be a salmon carbonara without salmon. So I'm adding 100 grams of grilled skinless salmon and I've just chopped it up and then give it a final mix. And once your pasta's cooked, just transfer it to your frying pan. And the sauce we've just created. And stir again. Bear in mind, you don't want to stir this while it's cooking on the hob because the egg is going to set anyway in the hot spaghetti. And now for some fresh chives, and I'm just gonna snip a little bit on top. And I'm being lazy again, so let's just say 10 grams of cheese. And that is as simple as it is. And it took a mere 10 minutes to make. Lovely jubbly. Thanks for watching, bye.